Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Film Box Podcast. It's been a little bit. We've been away, but we're back and better than ever. I'm your host, Aaron Souza, and today here with me are my two great friends and usual co-hosts, uh, Connor and Sam. What's up, guys? What's up? How's it going? Doing it's, been well. a while. It's, it's been a while. Yeah, I missed you guys. I'm gonna need uh, I'm gonna need more energy in the room for this because uh, wow, we're I, talking about. <laughs> I really today's... missed you guys. <laughs> today we've got a special little bonus episode for the Film Box Summer Spectacular, uh, and that is um, we're doing another tier list, but this time we're talking about the Sandman himself. We're ranking Adam Sandler movies. <laughs> Stole my fucking bit. <laughs> I mean, oh, did it, was that what you were going to say? No, I, I called him the Sandman first. Yeah, and I, t- I took it. I took it and ran with it. <laughs> That's what I do. I come in, I push you off your land, and I say, this is mine now. I found it. True American. <laughs> Jeez. Ooh, ooh, we should probably, you know. It's just a game in New Girl. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be talking about Adam Sandler movies. I mean, he is the, the king of, of comedy films, I guess. Would you call him the king of comedy films? No. <laughs> didn't we I have, didn't we have the, the fight well, night for the comedy? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Who did we, Will who Fer- did we or not Will Ferrell. Um, Jim, Jim, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Yeah. Was it Jim Carrey? It was Jim Carrey. Cause it was Pretty him and Robin Williams. Oh, true. I mean, all right. I think by sheer volume, you might have to give it to Sandler. He's the king of Adam just, Sandler movies. This is true. He did I invent his own genre. Yeah. I feel like he's probably, I guess, one of the more well-known ones. Yeah. He's he's just, you know, he's got his own shtick, and he sticks with it. Mm-hmm. Um, and today, we're going to be ranking that shtick. Uh, so, Connor, do you want to bring us down the list? first um of the uh of the tiers that we got for this oh we want to just jump right into it well i mean you got something else Uh oh so we're gonna talk about what movies we've seen yo it's been it's been a while you know know, yeah it has been a while you know we don't have to take the pants off right away we can you know (laughs) just a little (laughs) foreplay i was already they were already around my ankles (laughs) Uh, (laughs) you know it's funny because i watched uh kick us off i watched sanctuary today mm. um movie about a dominatrix and a wealthy businessman who wants to end the relationship and let's just say a lot of pants were some pants around were ankles off. yes <laughs> just some surprisingly um, just just twice all right um so speaking of that connor why don't you go over what you've seen recently all right so sanctuary watch that today I saw the blackening last night. Pretty funny. Uh, the Flash, which my reviews up. Yep. Yeah. It was it, a movie. It's a tough movie. Um, so to clean that palette, I watched the animated Flash movie. <laughs> uh, vastly superior. Um, across the Spider Verse, and into the Spider Verse. I've seen Into the Spider Verse maybe like six times mm-hmm. uh, this past week, so I'm really 
digging it. That's the last movie of note. The God's Honest Truth? God's Honest Truth. I, I can live on uh, just into and across the Spider-Verse for the rest of my life, I think. That's fair. That's fair. Um, Sam, what have you seen? Yeah, I um, <clears throat> I did a little throwback last last week or so. Um, I watched the uh, I, I watched the first three Shrek movies. Nice, <laughs> sick. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then recently, I've watched um, both Extractions, uh, the Netflix original with Chris Hemsworth. Watched the first one, and then I, re- I rewatched the first one. Um, and then I uh, I just watched the second one. That review should be coming out uh, probably this weekend or early next week. I watched like uh, the, what the movie? Yeah, the uh... no the the play. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like your review? <laughs> I'm I'm almost done with it. Um... The book. <laughs> Did you like seeing Chris Hemsworth? <laughs> movie so thor 4 was great (laughs) (laughs) thor 5 whatever it is and whatever they're on now man i was really a big fan of him in hunger games (laughs) shut up y'all sleeping on (laughs) ghostbusters man (laughs) oh man have you ever seen the new the the, the remake of red dawn yeah oh yeah (laughs) josh peck baby (laughs) I speaking of that, I can't. Every movie he's in now, I cannot unsee him as a, as the comedy relief, like an Oppenheimer. Like I don't think I'm gonna be able to keep a straight face watching that movie when he's on when he's on screen. Wait, he's an Oppenheimer. He oh, is. Yeah. What? He's a- <laughs> no way. What the fuck? You know, I I hate bringing it up, but the. That the submarine happened. Mm. The the video of him and Drake in the submarine. He's like, Drake, where's the door? Where's the door? <laughs> it's right here, pull. <laughs> oh my god, uh, I hate that. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Anyways, speaking yes, extraction yes. two. So extraction two. <laughs> I I enjoyed it. The stage play. Yeah. Um, I like the first one better. Um, but I did like the second one. Uh, I think the action in the movie was phenomenal. Um, but it seriously lacked in dialogue, Everything write it, writing. <laughs> it, I didn't care about certain characters like they were trying to make me care about. Um, so listen, I hated that kid too. Don't you worry, <laughs> fucking kid. <laughs> I've um, not seen this movie so. I have no pr- frame of reference for this. <laughs> I just know there's a kid and he's fucking stupid. <laughs> okay, good to know. <laughs> um, and then I watched, I went to go see uh, Elemental, the new Disney Pixar movie. Mm. Um, and then I w- recently watched uh, Call Me By Your Name, because we are going to be doing a review on that. Mm-hmm. Spoiler alert. We announced it at the end of last. We, that was we did. Say, we announced it. <laughs> that, that was the thing too. I kind of forgot about that because I I did see it as well, and I was gonna bring it up. But I was like, no, nah, I'll save it as a surprise. <laughs> it's not a surprise. Um, all right. So for movies that I watched, uh, I it's been a little bit. Yeah, I've watched uh, The Machine while I was on vac just before I left for vacation. Actually, that was funny as hell. Um, Ocean's Eleven and Bohemian Rhapsody and True Grit. I all watched while I was on vacation, uh, which is just a wild amalgamation of, of movies. But yep, so I saw those. Um, saw Somewhere in Queens, which was really fun. I really, really liked that movie it's more than I thought I would. Ray Romano is fucking awesome, and Laurie Metcalf is even better. Um, El- I saw Elemental. My review's on the website. You can see it. Uh, I also watched Call Me By Your Name. Um, and just as like a little sneak preview or not sneak preview as a little throwback to Sam's throwback. Um, I watched two of the three Indiana Jones movies. Uh, I watched Temple of Doom and Last Crusade, but I did not go back and rewatch Raiders. So just fuck whatever reason. Fuck Raiders, right? (laughs) I guess. The best one out of the entire series. You're just like, yeah, I'm going to skip over it. 
Well, it's like I, my 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 thinking was, you know, I've actually seen that one recently, but I haven't seen Temple of Doom, so I wanted to watch that, and then I was like, you know, fuck it, I want to watch Last Crusade too. Now and now it, Disney. Now you know which one is next, right? Yeah, we don't <laughs> talk about that one. Oh my god! Oh my, I was watching a, a TikTok the other day, and it was uh, Harrison Sorry. Ford on on the press junket uh for the new indie movie and they were asking him, him and phoebe waller bridge about like this or that type of questions really around indiana jones and he goes so one of the questions is like okay so would you rather uh raiders of the lost ark or last crusade and he goes raiders you know and he's in the in the harrison ford voice and then uh he goes would you rather um temple of doom or kingdom of the crystal skull and he goes Crystal Skull. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm starting to really just appreciate, like, he, he is just so tired of being asked questions. <laughs> he, he is over everything. But yeah. I, I keep seeing, like, um, that now that he's in the Marvel movies, they're like, oh, are, you, are we going to see some Red Hulk? And he's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. He just doesn't care. It's great. Although in this interview, he was he he did get um, well the other one of the other things they did during that interview was had him try foods from different places uh, from the new indie movie, and they were mainly desserts. They were all desserts, <laughs> and r- really, and like you could tell he was fucking loving it. He like Harrison Ford when you introduce food in the equation is all about it. <laughs> I think he just likes. I don't know if this is a hot take. I think he just likes being Indiana Jones more than anything else he's done. Mm. Oh, he hated being Han Solo. Yeah, mm-hmm. every every time it's like mentioned, he's like, "Dude, I'm, I'm over it." Like, I'm, I'm actually, old. and you know how people have talked about, and I don't know if we've talked about it, but people have talked about like the greatest runs in cinematic history, and like people talk about like Jim Carrey in the '90s or. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. like Scorsese's run in the early, in the late seventies, early eighties, whatever. Uh, no one fucking talks about Harrison Ford from nineteen eighty to nineteen eighty five. Mm. Yeah, this man had uh, Empire Strikes Back, Indiana Jones Raiders, Blade Runner, Return of the Jedi, and Temple of Doom, all in five straight years. What the fuck? <laughs> It's like those uh, those old iFunny memes where it's like him, uh, Sir Ian McKellen, and they got their shirts. It's like, oh, I'm Indiana Jones and Han Solo. And then it's like, mm-hmm. oh, well, I'm Magneto and um, so-and-so. It's just like you kind of forget, like, just – well, especially because, like, I'm terrible with years. Mm-hmm. I, I, I couldn't have guessed that those were in, like, consecutive years. Yeah. And it's not like he he didn't even have projects in between those. Like, it was just five straight years of just, okay, banger, banger, banger. It's, like, coming out. It was insane. Yeah. Um, but anyways. Um, well, even him in the 90s, too. He had oh, yeah, he was. Clear and Present Danger, Patriot Games, Air Force One. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's just a force. He's a force. Mm-hmm. What a man. I, I love that man. I wish to meet him one day. I took a picture with his star at the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So probably hates you for it. He does probably. I'm surprised he even has one. He's probably like, what, what is that? I don't I don't care. It'd be <laughs> funny if his name wasn't even Harrison Ford. <laughs> is it's, it? Is it's, it actually? It's just like a his stage name. It's actually just like Joe Drews or whatever. Joe Drews. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, was, what was that a? Uh, Baseball pitcher we had a couple. A couple, a couple. <laughs> oh, um. well, it's funny you mentioned that because I got a game to play, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh! I actually did want to do another oh, Joey iteration Dickshot. of this. Joey Dickshot, <laughs> Johnny Dickshot, Johnny actually. Dickshot. Okay, well, thank you for introducing it because I want to play a game called Movie Character or Baseball Player. <laughs> um. So if you haven't listened to the podcast and don't know how this works, uh, I'm going to say a name. You're going to tell me if this is an old-timey baseball player 
or a character from a movie. And if it is a character from a movie, I will give you point an extra bonus point if you can tell me what movie they're from. Um, also, I'll allow each of you to have an answer, and then we will uh, we will go from there. All right, are you ready for the first name here? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go with Shooty Babbitt. Shooty Babbitt. That is a baseball player. Uh, I okay. My gut says baseball player as well, but I've been burned by the Expendables so many times, <laughs> and a guy named Shooty Babbitt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say movies. Okay. Well, this is a point. For Sam, this is oh, a baseball player. Shit. I didn't even know. <laughs> Shooty Babbitt played one year in the MLB in 1981 oh, for the Oakland Athletics. Jeez. He had uh, 40 hits, no home runs, but a 256 batting average. Interesting. Speaking um, of, uh, just real quick, have you guys mm-hmm. seen the Expendables 4 trailer? No. The first like minute of it is it's like, like a porn between Megan Fox and Jason Statham. Good lord. Jeez. I wonder who approved that one. <laughs> See, Sam, you're Googling it. Uh, yep. <laughs> He's like, oh? <laughs> no, I, 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 I wasn't sure. what It's coming out this year. September. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Um, some guys being dudes. With guns. Just some guys being dudes. All right. You ready for name number two? It's one to nothing, Sam. Mm-hmm. Uh, the name number two. Is Harry Butman? <laughs> Harry Butman. Uh, I'm gonna say a movie. I'm also gonna say a movie. Well, that is correct. That is a movie. Can you tell me which movie? If you can, I will be shocked. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. This, is fr- this is from the movie Bond Cop, Bad Cop. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, one of my it. favorites. <laughs> All right. Bond Cop. Um, I've even heard sounds of like, this. Sounds like something uh, in The Simpsons. So I got a uh, Harry true. Butman here. Harry Butman. All right. Uh, all right. Let's do another. I've got uh, Cole Trickle. Cole Trickle. I'm going to go baseball player. I'm going uh, movie character. That is another point for Sam. He is a movie character. What movie is he from? For an extra (laughs) bonus point. Um, uh, Fifty Shades. He's not. He's from Days of Thunder. I don't know. (laughs) All right, last one here. Last one. Um, the final name, Yin Yang. Yin Yang. It's got to be a baseball a player. Movie character or a baseball player? It's got to be a baseball player. I think so. Too. Connor's deep in thought here. He's he's really trying to spin the gears. Not even that. I'm just trying to think if you'd be dumb enough to go... Baseball player movie, baseball player movie. That's the psychology of it. Yeah. Would I do that? Working on me too. That's that's what I hate. Would I do it? Would I not? Am I dumb enough or am I smart enough to think that you think I'm dumb enough to do that? I'm gonna go movie. Connor, you're correct. This is a movie. Uh This is a movie. You fifth. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? what movie it's from for an extra bonus point this is for the tie this is for the tie i feel like it's it's fate that we've come to arrive at this in yeah that feels kind of offensive so i'm gonna get i guess it's a little bit of an older movie well it might it feels (laughs) like a rush hour movie oh oh is that your final answer i'm gonna lock in any of the rush hours. 
Well, you're wrong. It's the Expendables, baby. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I knew we were going to get one. <laughs> yep. It's the Expendables. Oh, God, I got to trust the gut. Yeah, you do. Should have said oh, it. Oh, it was Jet Li. I it was figured, Jet Li's character. It was it's Jet Li's so character. Because it's so racist. <laughs> they are so just like, um, what's... <laughs> What do you bring? Oh, you're Asian? <laughs> Asia. <laughs> Ying Yang. Oh, you like the the sniper? We're going to call you sniper. <laughs> God. Oh, man. Well, now that we've had the, the palate <laughs> properly wetted. <laughs> Connor, let's, let's do this too. Actually, I, I do have one thing I want to mention. Um, so I am a, a fan of... of beef jerky here oh yes yes i did i did want to tell this before but we decided to save this uh after i'm a pretty big fan of beef jerky when i was in tennessee i bought four different bags of five different bags of beef jerky from various vendors and i'm not ashamed of it um so i went to the uh the convenience or the gas station today after dinner i was looking around and i saw this i've never seen this before it's jack links made Bacon jerky ah. is literally dried bacon. This shit is the bomb. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> hey, you're just eating bacon. <laughs> it's literally ba- like it's bacon. Uh, it's so good. This is good podcasting, right? Yeah, just, just eat right into the mic. <laughs> I want to be able to feel the grease in my ears. Oh, well, it's my hand, Philip. All right, let's do this. Connor, take over. I'm trying to finish my beef jerky. All right, so as Aaron said, we are doing tier list of Adam Sandler movies. Um, I don't know if you guys know this. He's been in quite a few movies. Um, yeah, I'm realizing now this is going to be a long-ass episode. <laughs> not necessarily, because I found one that has just... Decent amount of his goods and his bads, but mainly his most populars. So. All right. We've got about uh, one, two, three, uh, like 40 movies, maybe. No, this isn't bad. Um, But our tiers for this tier list. At the top, the best of Adam Sandler. The best a man can get. <laughs> mm-hmm. Followed by not that bad. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Followed it's by right. normal. Followed by bad. And as a film box pot tradition that I'm starting right now, we have our pee pee poo poo tier. And then just the ones we haven't seen. Mm hmm. So, where would we like to start? Um, let's just start with the first one. 50 First Dates? Yep, let's do it. 50 First Dates. I have not seen it. I have not seen it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, it's going on me. All right. So, the thing about 50 First Dates is if you turn on TBS at any given time during the day, it's probably on. It's it's gonna be there. It's a classic TV movie, but like you see it so many times that it's like I don't care about it anymore. Um, but the premise is interesting. I mean, it's a guy who's working in Hawaii. This girl has short term memory loss. She can't remember shit. They start dating, but her memory resets every day to the same day. Wow. So he has to like try and reintroduce himself every day, kind of thing. That's why it's called Fifty First Dates. Um, uh, and, and, except yeah, almost. The, except the days actually progress. Yeah, except it's only her where it's Groundhog, Groundhog Day for. It's not everyone. <laughs> it's like a, re- it's kind of like a reverse Groundhog Day where everyone stays the same and she's the only one that changes versus no, it's <laughs> other way around. Everyone else changes, but she's stuck in the loop. Yeah. Yep. Um, but I think it's normal. It's about normal. All right, 
Fifty First Dates is a normal movie. It, it's very normal. It's very TV. I can't stop eating this bacon, guys. It's so bad. Yeah, we know. <laughs> we hear it. Hey, chew with your mouth closed. <laughs> um, do, do you want to knock out? Have Have you guys see Blended? We can knock out the Drew Barrymore, Drew Barrymore section of. I have. Adam I haven't. Of inch, interest. I haven't. Damn, have I, have, I have not. Damn. Okay. Neither have I. Uh, well, <laughs> the only thing I remember, actually, I have seen Blended, but it's been so long, and I've seen parts of it because it's been on TV. The only thing I remember is I was so hyped for this movie for the sole reason that Terry Crews was in it, and he was doing the peck bounce thing. That's the only thing I remember about this movie because that's the only part of the trailer that I saw. How old were you? <laughs> 10. 13. Couldn't have been more than that. Interesting. Where so where are we putting Terry Crews' tits? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> Just haven't, haven't seen him yet. Wow, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Jesus. All right, we're starting off. What's the next on the list? Uh, meatball. How, I don't know what the <laughs> fuck that is. I've never seen it. Uh, we're starting to hot. Uh, that's a Brendan Fraser movie. I've heard about it, but I have not seen it. I have not seen it. I haven't either. Um, we're gonna put that there. But if we had seen it, I would say it would be <laughs> at least normal. <laughs> I just oh. for Brendan Fraser alone. He it's like that that meme of like the guy on the football uh, on the bus after football, mm-hmm. and he's like, "She is very beautiful to me." <laughs> It's just, uh, oh my god! All right, next up, anger management. Um, please tell me someone's seen this one. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some of it. I mean, it's got Jack Nicholson in it, so it has to be pretty normal. I've heard good things about it, so I drop it in normal. Cool. All right, we're we're going off the vibes of the post. The vibes, and yeah, they look like they're about to kiss. So mm. normal. Um, here we go now. Here, yeah. here we go. <laughs> now we're gonna start getting some ones we know. Uh, bedtime stories. Honestly, no, I'm just honestly, I'm down to put it in the best of Adam Sandler. It's really good. I honestly, have really dude, I fond memories one. of this movie. I really like it. it. It's it might just be pure nostalgia, but like, yeah, it's one of those ones I just like remember who's, random scenes. Who was the other guy? And it was Russell. Um, Russell Brand. Uh, Russell Brand. I want to say Russell Crowe. I was like, nope, he wasn't in it. Yeah, where he's the um, uh, what's his name? Like the, what? What's the, not the stoner, but like the um, the employee guy, whatever. Yeah, like what the boss. His? He wasn't the boss, was he? No, no, he was like one, like a waiter or something. Oh, like Guy that. Pierce was in this. Guy Pierce was in it. Yeah. But damn, no, it's it's good. It's real good. Mm-hmm. Um. Next up, Big Daddy. <laughs> Haven't seen it. Nope. We are on a hot streak, oh ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I should have vetted this a bit. Uh, mm. Billy Madison. That's one we should hopefully all have seen. Uh, Haven't I haven't seen, seen it. it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I've seen it. Have you? <laughs> Connor almost had a heart attack. No, I legitimately have not seen it though. Wait, what? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> I've not seen Billy Madison. I don't know. This, uh, this gonna, is that's top tier. That's peak, I would say. It's like his first movie. <laughs> it's peak. <laughs> yeah, just him. Uh, just that one scene at the very end, or not even at the very end, but he gives that whole monologue, and then the judge is just like, "Nothing you said was at." any point relevant to the question I asked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, I award just... you no points and may God have mercy on your soul. And it's about, you know, having a crush on a teacher and I think we all had crushes on teachers. So. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. Uh, next up, Bulletproof. Why does this look like a gang movie? I haven't seen it. find out if it was a gang movie. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Clearly have not seen it. Mm. Him and... Um, Damon Wayans. That's interesting. Weird. 
Uh, undercover cop befriends a drug dealer in a bid to catch a vi villainous drug lord. But, what? <laughs> I don't know. This is confusing. Um, and pee pee poo poo. <laughs> Haven't yeah. seen it. Uh, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. I've seen this. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good, because I am not. Have you seen it, Sam? Uh, no. No. <laughs> All right. I, I liked I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry. So what are you thinking? Not that bad, really? I'm going to put it in not that bad, really. Um, it was pretty funny, but I don't really remember a whole lot about it. Uh, click. Oh man, it's this been a, a long list. time. I think that's top tier. Really? You're going top tier yeah. for click? Yeah. Hmm. I haven't seen it, so like it's kinda on you guys. I I mean it's been years, so I if hey, Sam says it's top I, tier. I'm going with top tier. Top tier. Cool. Apparently this has a two point seven on uh letterbox. I don't know how. Well, I mean, that's about as good as you're going to get from Adam <laughs> Sandler comedies, to be completely honest. Um, I think we should just mark the next three in, into the haven't watched category. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen Eight Crazy Nights, Funny People, or Going Overboard. That might be yep. his first movie. Mm, look how that young looks like look. it. Look how funny young Jesus. Look. Yeah, that looks pre, maybe during SNL. Yeah, they can go and haven't watched. Oh god, this is this is gonna be an embarrassing thing. <laughs> We're finding out now how mu how little of Adam Sandler we've seen. <laughs> the man's been in like eighty five movies. Okay, it's like, true. That's true. There's one on here that's not that not on here that I want. I wish it was. Um, the oh no, it is. We'll get to it. Never mind. Ha -ha. That one. Y Europe. Yeah. Uh, well, the grown ups. Grown ups two is bad. Grown Ups Two yeah, is bad. I'm I sorry, but it's not the, pee -pee the ending poo -poo. party. The ending party elevates it from pee pee poo poo, but it's I rewatched it like probably a, two months ago, and I was like, "This is really this is this is this is what they came up with." <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. I think I said I've seen that multiple times in theaters. Um, mm. If if I were paying for the tickets, I probably wouldn't have seen it <laughs> once. But yeah, didn't like it. Grown Ups, yeah. the original. That's best. That's got to be best. I was going to put that not that bad. I was going to put really? that not that bad, yeah. Really? I don't when you think of Adam Sandler, I don't know. The first movie that comes to my mind is Grown Ups. See, I think of Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison first. That's exactly mm. what I think of, too. If, if you say, like, think of, like, just the most Adam Sandler movie, yes, Grown Ups is, like, just dudes having fun. Yeah. Um, but I would say like if I'm thinking of his best movies, it's not up there. Fair. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Did you know that Grown Ups has a uh, a ten percent on Rotten Tomatoes? The f what? Grown Up people just ha hate comedy. God damn. <laughs> Grown Ups two has an eight <laughs> percent. What? It's dude. Grown Ups two is like miles worse. Than Grown Ups one, yeah. Mm -hmm. The fact that they have a two percent difference on Rotten Tomato scores is beyond me. Just wait till we get to the Ridiculous Six. Oh Jesus! I know that. I'm pretty sure that one has. Yeah, we'll we'll get to it. We'll uh, get to it. Your pee -pee -poo -poo tier potential. Yeah. Uh, Happy Gilmore. Pee -pee. Oh, that's that's, oh, that's gotta be that's, best. That's, that's, that's best. one of the best. Yeah. Happy Gilmore is amazing and it's even better having now that i play golf and have that appreciation for it and it's mm -hmm. it's just so rewatchable too yeah mm -hmm. i i am happy to say that i'm learning golf and i have yet to try to be funny and do the the adam the, uh his um walk into the drive yeah i've only ever done it at the driving range never do it on the course mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm gonna hold strong i'm not gonna do it I'm mm -hmm. not going to be that guy. I, I think everyone has to be that guy, though. No, I know if I try it, if I try it at like a Top Golf, I am flying off the platform. <laughs> He's just gone. I, I am not. 
I'm not controlling my body good enough to stop. <laughs> Either I fall or like I just rip in half. One of That's two fair. things. That's fair. Um, knock all these out. Uh, ho- yeah. the Hotel Transylvania movies. I've only um, seen the first one. Yeah, let's let's just go by the first one because I have not seen the other ones. Yeah, I've the Hotel the Transylvania one. Two is the only one that played at my old gym, so I like. <laughs> okay, so I've you seen, know that one. I, well, the thing is, it was playing at a gym <laughs> with so, no like, volume. <laughs> exactly. So I've seen it. I have not heard. You've it. seen it and watched the subtitles. <laughs> they didn't even have subtitles, so I was just oh, guessing what ew. was happening. Ew. Who puts on a a channel where they have to where where you have to listen to the thing that's on, and then not have title subtitles? I don't know, dude. Like, it's like it would be like putting you're on not... sports, like putting on ESPN or like a talk show, and it's like. Mm, who knows what they're saying? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, like putting on Fallon, you just can't hear like a <laughs> word they're saying. You're just like, huh? It's like, well, Fallon's laughing, so I knew that was funny, but <laughs> yeah, actually, I, yeah, more I likely, see, probably not funny. <laughs> I see the other guys laughing, so I or not laughing, so Fallon definitely tried to tell a joke. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to make something completely normal very funny, mm-hmm. dude. You're Fallon, I to- mean, talk about no real personality, Jimmy Fallon, man. Is like someone will say, oh, he'll be like, oh, hey, hey, Leo DiCaprio, how was your day today? Leo will be like, that was pretty good. I filmed the movie. <laughs> He's like just bursting laughing. He's like, dude, shut up. That's another phase I'm proud I didn't get into. Never. With the, the late night phase? Yeah. I've only seen one thing of Fallon, and that is um, Fever Bitch. Oh, that's a good movie, though. Oh, yeah. It's a good movie. All right. Fair All right. Back to Hotel Transylvania. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do we uh, put in the first one? I, I, the first one was good, I think. Um, so mean? either normal or not ba- that bad. I, I'm good with either one of those. Hey, I'm good with uh, not that bad. And then the other two, I mean, they can just, I, stay I, there. I, I haven't, I haven't, yeah, I haven't, they just put them in, haven't watched. Just to get him off the board. Hubie Halloween. Seen this one. You have? Oh, yeah. All right. My my old roommate, shout out to I, loved this movie. Uh, (laughs) Senior year, when it came out, I think we watched it maybe like... He watched it probably like once every couple of days. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) For how long? Uh, For for the entire month of October. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Uh, I the funny part is I can imagine him coming home from class and be like, you know what I want to watch, QB <laughs> Halloween again, and you're sitting there like, I <laughs> played uh, playing Madden or something like fucking again. <laughs> it's, it's the eighth time this month. No, I was just waiting for him to ask me if I wanted to watch. Too. I was like, fuck yeah, dude! I hear it all the time, and I just <laughs> I actually want to know. <laughs> it's the opposite of Hotel Transylvania. It's just. I hear it, but I can't see it. (laughs) Put them together, you almost have a movie. Exactly. Um, I would say it's it's pretty normal. All right. Yeah, I don't think it's bad, but I don't. It's not that great. It's kind of not great. It's kind of just like if Grown Ups happened during Halloween. Uh, Hustle. Oh, this is great. Yeah, this might be peak. I'm fine Honestly, with that. I'm good with that. He's, it's really good. Um, it's probably his best dramatic role, to be honest. I mean, we still got Anka Jams. Uh, uh, Anka Jams. Anka Jams. Uh, right. b- before we get there, <laughs> Jack and Jill. Pee pee poo poo. A movie I am quite disappointed in myself to say that I've seen this multiple times. <laughs> Dude, what you watched it and said, you know what? You know what this movie needs? A second chance. I need more of that Dunkachino. <laughs> I just I just don't know. I just don't know. I need to see it again. Rotten Tomatoes really hates Adam Sandler. Oh. The, yep. what, what is can we guess? Is it is this like a two? 
I thought it was a zero. Nope. I think it's actually uh, seventy four. No, nope. no, it's 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 what is it? It's a single digits. It's single digits. <laughs> like a five. It's a three <laughs> percent. Oh my god! A one point. Honestly, on I would have gotten lower. Yikes. You're telling me out of like a hundred people, three were like, you know what? I like this. <laughs> Against all odds. <laughs> it's like 12 angry men. It's just like, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up, just go with it. I'll tell you what, this movie has staying power. Mm-hmm. I Literally today... At work in the office, someone brought up, just go with it. You know, it's where, because I never got big into Friends. It's my introduction to Jennifer Aniston. It's a pretty good introduction. Oh, boy. Yeah, it was. (laughs) (laughs) Whoa, calm yourself. He's just given the the bombastic side. I I hate that I just said that, man. I tried a TikTok thing. It didn't. I I hated. I hated myself instantly. I think we gotta wrap it up here. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for listening. Okay. No. Um, uh, just I go with it. Uh, not that bad. Yeah, I was thinking not that bad. Yeah, that's. I'm it, good with it's this, really this, throwing this. me off that that is the second highest. <laughs> yeah it is it's like normal should be up there yeah but the only thing i changed was adding the pee pee poo poo tier this is ha- yeah, this right. stock uh yep little nicky don't know it not, don't know not it. seen it uh i've seen it it's bad okay put it in bed i did not like it uh mr deeds i've seen this mm-hmm. it's fun it's fun it's interesting. It's kind of a different concept from most of the other Sandler. I mean, it's still Sandler comedy, but you know, he's like a a a, a, a kid who grew up really wealthy, and and his dad died, and he inherited his whole wealth, and it's like him dealing with that. So it's kind of it's it's an interest. It's a fun concept. I liked it. I thought it was pretty normal. Mm-hmm. I I wouldn't go higher than that, but we're gonna ruin our perfect freaking. Uh, our pier- pyramid, our, our uh, cascading, mm-hmm. yeah, cascading stairs. But you know, right, well, we gotta just we gotta keep adding to it. Uh, mm-hmm. Murder mysteries one and two. Who's seen it? Uh, well, I've seen murder mystery. And? Murder mystery was pretty normal. It was fun. Yeah. I would put I put I put it. It was a little too comedy for my my liking with the whole mystery thing. Um but I have not seen Murder Mystery 2, so. I on the other on the other hand have seen Murder Mystery 2. And I would probably put it at the same part as the first one. Really? Uh, yeah. Interesting. They each had they each had their own like flaws and st- stuff, but I think they mm. outweighed each other and I think uh, they were both normal. Interesting. Interesting. I've only seen of these two. Or I don't even know if it was with these two movies. Uh, on TikTok, it was like when they're doing like the press tour. Um, mm-hmm. There's just that super tall dude who was like interviewing them. And he was like yeah. on his knees when he first started. Um, and he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, I have to kneel. And they're like, oh, stand up. Like whatever and he stands up and he's like 6'10 or whatever <laughs> and they're like whoa get back down that was like a <laughs> jump scare <laughs> nice um next up pixels oh you mean disgrace pixels oh. is bad man pixels yeah, is bad. real bad uh, i've seen it multiple times <laughs> dude what is with <laughs> you and watching these movies multiple times Younger me had no standards. <laughs> you knew what he you <laughs> younger you knew what he liked. <laughs> no, that's a that problem. It makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah, I did. I saw Kevin James as the president and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> let, <laughs> let, <laughs> I need to watch more. The Sandler verse. The Sandler verse. What I don't know if, Yeah, that's not what this tier was, but there was another one called Into the Sandler Verse. That's pretty funny. All right, let's uh, let's 
pop over to the next one. Uh, Punch Drunk Love. Never seen it. Me neither. I, uh, it's a shame. I have not. It's on my list. I know it's good. I don't want to put. I feel bad putting it and have it watched. But it's. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen it. I know it's one of the ones that I should see, though. Uh, Rain Over Me. I have not I seen this seen either. Me neither. Sorry if I'm, like, kind of distracted. I'm, I'm looking on his letterbox. I'm trying to figure out what these movies are. <laughs> uh, Spanglish. I Heard about it. it. <laughs> haven't seen it. We're back on the haven't seen it train. <laughs> That's my boy. I haven't seen it. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to say it. You've seen it multiple, multiple times. times. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is it bad? In theaters. <laughs> In, Jesus, dude. It, it's bad. <laughs> you wasted your parents' money. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny, too? Uh, I want to say I, when I was like in middle school, I, t- I went on a date to go see this movie. Oh, God. <laughs> Granted, I was like 13. And I thought this movie. Right, let's go watch That's My Boy. I thought this movie was hilarious. Oh, my God. And she hated it. Oh, my God. Obviously, because. Uh, <laughs> someone was a bit more mature than some- the other. <laughs> someone was smart. <laughs> Um, fucking vanilla ice is in it like that. Oh God, what the fuck? He, I all I, I remember everything, but the only thing that stands <laughs> wow, out that's is terrifying. Yeah, I, I remember everything. Word to your mother, brother, lover. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah. Next, yeah, the cobbler. I've seen this surprisingly. I, I have not. Thank I've God. seen it. I've seen it. It's bad. Oh. It's bad. It was just not interesting. It's about a, a guy who's he's a cobbler, and his cobbling machine is magic. Ah, that's that's it. That's the movie. It was so boring. I'm sorry, Adam, but you made a boring one with that one. Um, next up, the do over. I've seen the picture of it on netflix does he have a deal with netflix i don't know because like i i feel like all of his he is just pumping out like straight to streaming on netflix movies Mm -hmm. like murder mystery hubie halloween cobbler do over like all these yeah uh, you got a point i don't know he might i mean they might also be the ones who are like Fuck it. Adam Sandler. Do it. Just do it. Oh, also, Listen. Hustle was in Netflix. Yeah. It's like, hey, it's a coin flip if this is going to be a good movie or not. But people will watch it because of you. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. You'll make us money. Just just whatever. Whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. It's like, I got this idea. Th- that was... <laughs> wow. That was not... That was, that was Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> when they, I, well, I, I got, got an idea. <laughs> I've got this idea, you know. You see, he's gonna do a movie called The Do Over. <laughs> that's this is disrespectful. All right, that man. <laughs> what a what a legend! I fucking love Gilbert Gottfried. I never Montana. thought you'd go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, so, Sam, have you seen it? I have not. Okay. I feel we like got Gilbert we got some Gottfried, homework. Can I just talk about Gilbert Gottfried real quick? Just 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 for half a second. Man, every time he talks, he looks like he's about to shit himself. And rest in peace, man. But I don't know if it was hurting you to talk, but God, it was rough. <laughs> I don't you know, mean to disrespect like clenched this. Face. Like, I don't mean to disrespect this dead man. But have you ever noticed <laughs> how dumb he looks? Jesus Christ! Uh, All right, right. Home stretch. Home stretch. Uh, the water boy. Or, sorry, uh, the long wow. shard. We're gonna get to the water boy. Longest Yard. I like Longest Yard. I do too. It's fun. Mm-hmm. It's not that bad, really. Mm-hmm. It's not that bad. 
Um, that and the uh, the game plan were like two movies that I I had like simultaneously in my mind all the time. That's the one with um the rock with right? rock the rock yeah. That surprisingly is one of my favorite rock movies. Really? Yeah. He's I interesting. The bar is low. Like is this in Moana? But this is just the the game plan was just mm-hmm. one of those movies that I just remember watching a lot. Yeah. Like I'm sure if we watched it, it'd be terrible, but Yeah, probably. Got that nostalgia though. Yeah. It can't be worse if you never rewatch it. That's fair. Okay. Uh the water boy. I've seen this maybe one time. Really? This, this is a good Yo. movie. It's good. I feel like this is another one of those staple Adam Sandler movies. Is it is it Peak Sandler? Uh, peak is tough. I'd s- I it, I might lean peak to be honest, but I feel like it's just. I think it's low peak. That's I think there's like the tier within peak, like Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore. Yeah, maybe the Water Boy. Mm. Um, I'm fine putting it peak. All right. Uh, the wedding singer. I feel like this is one that we should have seen, but I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> I have. You have. Okay. Is, have you seen it multiple times? No. <laughs> ah. Here, here's rule of thumb. If I like it, I haven't seen it more than once. If it's terrible, bet your bottom dollar that I've seen it five every times. Literally other, <laughs> every other week, he, Connor was at the theater watching this movie. Yeah. I am the reason for, like, I, you know, I'm not gonna say it. Um, okay. but <laughs> what? It was it would have been insensitive, and I don't want to do that right now. Um, I, I talked, I did insult Jimmy Fallon and talked a, about a, a dead, dead legend. No, all right. I just want to clarify. Fucking love Gilbert Gottfried. I just, you know, don't come after me. Yeah. Um. Uh, what was I gonna say? don't know uh i would say this is like normal okay good with it uh the week of no idea what that is <laughs> haven't seen it. it's another netflix straight to netflix well straight to the trash we gotta have like a netflix tier <laughs> <on here>. yeah <laughs> straight to netflix uncut your arms uncut your arms uncut your arms I didn't mind this movie when it first came out. The more I think about it, the more I hate it. Really? I I know the Safty guys. <laughs> the Safty guys. Uh, they made it to feel like hectic and anxiety inducing and lots of noises and lots of shit going on and lot just really trying to get that anxiety. And I honestly, not about it. The more I think of it. And it's made me not ever want to return to the movie. Damn. I was going to say, this is probably, like, this was his, is this his first, was, like, maybe first break into, like, the non-comedy? Uh, I'm Punch more... Drunk Love was. Ah, okay. But well, other than that, it. this was, this was really, yeah. Where would you like The first this? big one. So I, I think maybe normal. I think. I mean, normal's fine. Yeah, I'm very bottom normal's of normal. Fine. I, I, I do. Th- I, the movie is look. The movie critically is good, and he's really good in it. I just hate watching it. Very fair. Uh, I don't even. You're so not invited to my bar mitzvah. Never seen it. Never heard. Don't of it. even know what that is. I'm trying to find if it's just. Uh, oh. oh wait, ha- it says it comes out in 2023. Oh, so it's not out yet. Why is it? On oh, this? this is peak. <laughs> <laughs> peak, not out yet. <laughs> uh, you don't mess with the Zohan. It's another one I feel like I should have watched, but I have not. I have not. Seen I've it. seen it. How many times? <laughs> Just once. <laughs> oh, so it's good. I would say it's definitely normal. 
Okay. Like it's it's one of those ones where it's just really stupid, but it's like st- enjoyably stupid. Stupid funny. Yeah. Fair. Uh, Sandy Wexler. I have no idea Straight what that to is. Netflix. Of course. <laughs> Never seen it. Put it in the Netflix tab. What, what is this? Because I feel like I've heard about it, but just... I have no idea what this is. Where are you on his wiki? Or not wiki. I'm so in love with that. No. Uh, yeah, no, we can... It's nothing. All right. All right. Meyerwitz. This is my favorite Adam Sandler movie ever. It's good. This is, I don't know, have you guys seen it? No, I have not. This is, it's a dramatic movie. It's. I think this was before even Uncut Gems. Uh, Either that or it was just after. 2017 and 2019. Yeah, this one came first. And he's just so goddamn good in it. And I, I was blown away when I when I watched it. I really was. I was absolutely floored. And I watched it recently. So this is probably my best, my most favorite Adam Sandler movie. I'll have to give it a watch. Please do. It's really good. Uh, last. And it's got Ben Stiller in it. Yes. And it's got um Dustin, Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman, yeah. Adam Driver. Uh, best, he's in it for a scene. Best supporting <laughs> actor, Judd Hirsch. Oh uh, yeah. Um last movie. The Ridiculous Six. That's gotta be pee pee poo poo. <laughs> Sounds about right. Sam, what is the rotten tomatoes for Ridiculous Six? <laughs> Is it, 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 it a club of infamy? <laughs> Big fat goose egg. Yeah, it's a zero. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I fucking knew it. Gotta get one. Uh, he's got a zero. There's like only like a handful of zero percent films on Rotten Tomato, and this is one of them. I've seen it. It sucks, dude. It's bad. You know what's funny? I get this movie and The Hateful Eight mixed up a lot. Oh, God. What about the Magnificent Seven? That one too. These <laughs> these adjectives in front of numbers yep, yep. throw me off. Because these could not be more different movies. <laughs> I was saying. Actually, wait, I mean, Hateful Eight is a great movie. The... Hateful Eight is great. Both iterations of Magnificent Seven are great. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous six. <laughs> Trash. They should just keep going down to one. Mm-hmm. The the incredible one, <laughs> the one, <laughs> the the all seeing one, <laughs> the last one. There we go. All right. Um, so that is our tier. I'm just gonna run through it real quick. Mm. Uh, the mm. best of Adam Sandler. We got Meyerowitz, Bedtime Stories, Billy Madison, Click, Happy Gilmore, Hustle, and The Water Boy. Not that bad, really. Uh, now pronounce, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry, Grown Ups, Hotel Transylvania, Just Go With It, and The Longest Yard. Normal movies are Fifty First Dates, Anger Management, Hubie Halloween, Mr. Deeds, Murder Mystery 1 and 2, The Wedding Singer, Uncut Jams. Uncut Jams. You, you don't mess with the Zohan. Uncut Jams. Uh, the bad ones, uh, Grown Ups 2, Little Nicky, Pixels, that's my boy, and Cobbler. Uh, the infamous pee pee poo poo tier, Jack and Jill, and Ridiculous Six. Uh, and haven't watched and haven't the won. rest <laughs> of his movies. <laughs> All of the other ones. <laughs> I think, honestly, honestly, we had a bit of a slow start, but we did pretty good. You know, I was it, looking back at it. It looked. It could have been accurate. so much worse. Oh yeah, it, it it could have easily gone into. I don't even know if we could do this one. Yeah, Mid tier. We're, we're sitting here like, can we release this? <laughs> like God, for for some f- wanna be film bros, this is embarrassing. Have we have we seen any Adam Sandler movies? We've seen one, guaranteed. Yeah, I know. We saw Grown Ups. We hadn't reviewed that, but 
Have we seen any other ones? Yeah. No, I think it came out pretty good, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, ah, I, hey, look. You know, I, you were reading it down, and I was like, man, that's right. That's right. That's right. Wedding singer should probably be higher. That, and Uncut Gems no, should no probably be higher. No one stopped me. You guys had the hey, opportunity to... Hey, man, I haven't seen it. I just know the reputation. I mean, I've used somebody kill me, please, uh, so many times in my life. Um, you Andrew, know what's sad? What? You know what's sad is I've seen more of the wedding singer on TikTok than I have <laughs> any other place. Not great. Not great, Bob. Yeah. No. Oh, with that said, um, I think it's about time we wrap up this episode. Um, so first off, I want to thank you for listening. This has been a lot of fun. You know, we always have fun with, uh, with this stuff. Um, I want to thank Josh Woodward for our awesome theme music. Uh, and I also want to, uh, shout out all of our socials. You can, you know, visit us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, especially, um, you know, all that fun stuff. Uh, check out our letterboxed, uh, accounts. You can see what we've been watching, what we're working on for reviews what we're working on for normal movies what we watch in our free time that kind of thing um and uh i also want to uh just mention um let's see oh our website we have a website if you didn't know or if this is your first time listening to the podcast um we have a website we do movie reviews all the time on it we're doing a whole bunch of stuff um, you know all that all that kind of stuff. So it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, so go follow that. It's thefilmboxreviews dot com. Um, and you can shop our store. We have a store. It's the best way to uh to support us. But, oh, and uh, if you like this episode, subscribe, follow us, share it. You know all that fun stuff. Um, oh, okay. Uh, Aaron, you you still talking? <laughs> yeah, I'm still <laughs> I'm still talking. Well. Um, Smooth. I do. Nice. <laughs> I do want to end end off this. I I want to start ending our episodes in a certain way, with with something special. Um, and I think I want to start doing some movie related pun jokes. That's all, folks. <laughs> Good, night. Good night. Well, Good morning. well. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think. Oh boy. <laughs> what is he cooking? <laughs> this one's really good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do two because I want to do a legit one and then I want to do this one that I just saw. Oh, that's like, wow. Um, okay. So this, this first one, uh, man, this is real tough to find a good one. Um, what do you call Harrison Ford when he smokes weed? Han so high. <laughs> oh, the the just audible just silence. It's loud. Um all right, but this is the one that was like holy shit. All right. Why is There Will Be Blood George W. Bush's favorite movie? <laughs> because it's about a heartless con man who's obsessed with finding oil. <laughs> And that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. We'll see you later. Don't bother to